What's up everybody, Kinetic here and welcome back to The Division. In this video I'm getting back to weapon comparisons. I'm going to be talking about assault rifles today. I've got three assault rifles that I think are some of the most popular. They're not necessarily the most powerful assault rifles and this video isn't about pinpointing what is the best assault rifle, but I think that this will make for an interesting comparison between the LVOA, which is definitely one of the more popular assault rifles by word of mouth. A lot of people are talking about that weapon. We've got the ACR, which was one of the more recent Dark Zone rank 75 blueprints that I'm sure a lot of people probably picked up. And also another weapon that I surprisingly found to be very good, the M4. All right, so let's take a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the stripped-down version of these weapons. The LVOIC, or just LV as I like to call it, the ACR, and the Police M4. You'll notice that between the accuracy, reload speed, range, and stability, there's really not that much difference between these three assault rifles. The major difference we're going to find probably most is in the RPMs section. Uh, there is a difference here significantly between the Police M4's damage, but the RPMs, I think, are actually a lot more important as far as what affects the damage of these assault rifles. Obviously, the higher the RPMs, the faster that bullets are traveling out of the gun. And between just ignoring the damage numbers here, between 760 and 850, that's a huge amount of increased damage for the LV, for example, compared to the ACR, and the same for the Police M4, which also has exactly 850, just like the LV. So already, in my eyes, the ACR is losing this battle between these three assault rifles because of the lack of the RPMs. Now you might think that the benefit of lower RPMs for the ACR means better stability overall, but I've found that that isn't necessarily the case. If we just go ahead and we start spraying into the chest here, the, uh, the vertical kick definitely starts to kick in, and that's with the stability talent. If we compare that to the LVOAC, we can see that, honestly, it's not that much different. So what are we really getting out of the lower RPMs for the ACR? In my opinion, nothing. So what this really ends up becoming very quickly, I think, is a battle between the LV and the Police M4. So again, these are both stripped down We'll start by shooting the M4. Now the thing about the M4 is that it has significantly more horizontal uh, instability. You can see that the shots are kicking left and right pretty substantially uh, compared to the LV for example which mainly just starts to kick vertically. Alright, so now I've gone ahead and I've applied the mods that I think are best for the LV and for the M4. Let's go ahead and we'll take a quick look first at the LV. Actually, for the scope section on both of these guns, I'm going for headshot, damage, and critical hit chance. And the same also is going to apply to both of these assault rifles for the magazine. I'm going with magazine size and rate of fire. The big difference is going to start to be between the underbarrel and the muzzle for these two weapons weapons accuracy and stability and for the muzzle I've got stability and critical hit chance so for the M4 we can take a look and like I said we've got the same for the scope and for the magazine because of the horizontal instability on the M4 we want to try and reinforce that with the underbarrel it starts with horizontal stability there as well as stability and for the muzzle horizontal stability again and critical hit chance. So now with both of these assault rifles fully modded I've found in their overall performance just like how similar they are identical really in RPMs and their magazine size both of these weapons seem to handle very very similarly once fully modded. The LVOAC is still dedicating itself more to kicking vertically so you're gonna have to spend a significant amount of energy trying to make sure that it stays lower compared to the M4 which is still putting in some of its instability in and energy into kicking left and right. So I guess it, what it comes down to is which do you find the the more distasteful adjustment that you need to make do you not want to fight as much with a gun uh, trying to go up all the time in that case I would say go for the M4 it'll go a little bit to the left 
or to the right, uh, but because of that, it won't try to force itself up as much as the LVOAC. But if you really dislike any horizontal instability and would just prefer trying to manage the gun vertically, then definitely go for the LV. But either way, the LV and the M4 are superior over the ACR as far as assault rifles go because of the huge difference in RPMs. If the ACR had a lot more stability or if it had a lot more damage, then I would probably say that the ACR could be modded to maybe perform as good as the M4 and the LV, but you're really gaining nothing because of the lower RPMs. There's no extra benefit in terms of damage or anything for the ACR and its lower RPMs compared to the enhanced RPMs of the LV and M4 assault rifles. This might sound like bad news maybe for those of you that invested in getting the blueprints and crafting up an ACR, but at the end of the day, that's really the power I guess maybe that the ACR has, is that it's available as a blueprint, whenever it is available of course, uh, from the Dark Zone vendor, whereas the M4 and the LVOAC, at least for now, are not available. So we're at the mercy entirely of RNGesus to get a good M4 or to get a good LV, whereas an ACR, you buy the blueprint and as dedicated as you are, you can craft to your heart's content and potentially get a godlike assault rifle because of that craftability. And that's all I've got for you guys in today's weapon comparison video for assault rifles. I've got my eyes open still for more assault rifle models that will be dropping. And of course, I'm looking for different types of guns for LMGs and SMGs. And hopefully I will get around to being able to compare more weapons for you guys in future videos. Until then, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support these division videos here on my channel. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching. My name is Kinetic, and I'll see you next time.